This is the case of the treatment of Sever Asherman syndrome after secondary amenorrhea following multiple endouterine cartilage. As you see, for the treatment of this complex pathology, we use a 5.5 operative sheet with a 12 degree endoscope and we use a cold scissor. For the treatment of Asherman syndrome, we have to use to avoid any kind of energy, monopolar or bipolar, and we prefer to treat the patient with the cold scissor. On a hysterographic exam, we have an access to the left tubal ostium and our goal is to reach the left tubal ostium that allows us to have a landmark for the further metroplasty. So our goal is to try to find this left tubal ostium and we by simple movement with the scissor we'll try to increase the space as you see after some section we arrive to the left part of our uterine cavity with a good endometrium but the right part of the uterine cavity is completely plastered and our goal is to try to increase the uterine cavity volume as much as possible. So as you see, we began the section by the lateral aspect of the uterine cavity. You can see how dense are these adhesions. We see clearly our left tubal ostium. And now we will rotate our cold scissor and we will begin the right section. It's important to stay parallel between the two anterior and posterior uterine aspect and we cut till we reach the myometrial vessels. As you see, we decrease the uterine pressure to see if there is or no uh, artery or vein that bleed. And if you are in uh, the synechial tissue, there is no bleeding and you can cut easily the tissue with no risk of perforation. As you see, we increase the uterine cavity volume laterally and we can see that we arrive to the vascular tissue. You can see small bite of bleeding. That means that the lateral section is enough. Even we cut on the right lateral aspect of the uterus, we don't find the right tubal ostium. You can see the artery, so we have to stop the section. We can cut the fundus 
and it's mandatory to do a diagnostic hysteroscopy two months after the procedure to see the final anatomical results. You see, we cut now the fundus and we can appreciate the uterine cavity volume after this metroplasty. So in conclusion, when you do an hysteroscopic treatment of several Asherman syndrome, don't use energy use a small operative sheet as possible, use a cold scissor and never use energy, bipolar or unipolar, and do a diagnostic hysteroscopy two months after the procedure to control the anatomical result. I hope this video was interesting for uh, my follower and uh, thank you for attention.